glasses on. That's one of the very best cut men in the sport, if not the best. And nobody needs him more than Kevin. Yeah, and let's keep in mind, he really hasn't had a significant performance since the Hamed fight and a significant victory for several years before that. So Kelly now in the ring and preparing to wait for Barrera to arrive. And you can tell from the response as Barrera prepares to enter that this is a mostly Mexican and Mexican-American crowd almost entirely populated by Marco Antonio Barrera fans. And they certainly think that he is a featherweight champion, as does Ring Magazine USA Today and most American experts. He has been seen by some as a one-man crusade against the governing organizations and their title belts. Barrera says, that's not it. I just don't care. He shows the confidence that it's not the title who, that makes the fighter, but the fighter who makes the title. He had 60 amateur fights with a record of 56 and four. He's had 59 professional fights with a record of 56 and three. So Kelly's job tonight is to try to make Barrera duplicate his amateur record. Let's go to Michael Buffer in the ring for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from the city of entertainment, the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada. Forum Boxing is proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the universally recognized true featherweight championship of the world. Brought to you in association with the King of Beers, Budweiser, and HBO Pay-Per-View. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Luther Mack, Executive Director Mark Ratner. The three judges scoring this bout will be Chuck Jampa, Dave Moretti, and Jerry Roth. And when the bell rings, the man working as a referee in charge of the action for the 56th time in a world title contest, Robert Byrd. Ladies and gentlemen, to all the victims and heroes, to all those who serve and sacrifice, may we have peace and victory, and to you, we pledge our support. And now, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger wearing blue trimmed with gold. He officially weighs 126 pounds. His professional record is outstanding. 54 victories, including 36 knockouts, five defeats with two bouts even. Tonight, he enters the ring looking for victory and a place in boxing history. From Las Vegas by way of Flushing, Queens, New York, the former two-time featherweight champion of the world, the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with silver. His official weight also 126 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one, consisting of 56 victories, including 39 by knockout, with only three defeats and he is recognized by the fans and experts around the world as one of the best fighters in the world today. Thomas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, the reigning, defending, true featherweight champion of the world, the babyface assassin, Marco Antonio. Look at him. 
Okay, gentlemen, I gave you instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'm going to tell you now is when I say stop, that means stop whatever you're doing. Give me a clean break. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Both of you have been world champions. I expect you to conduct yourself such and give me a good competitive fight. Let's do it. Good luck. Will we see glimpses of the old Kevin Kelly or just this old Kevin Kelly? Nobody's old in there, Larry. You better realize that. tonight. Sometimes he has surprised us, most notably the first five rounds of the second Morales fight, far more tactical, tactical than anyone expected. Kevin Kelly trying to roll his hands and get his feet moving, see if he can land a big shot. Kelly has got to make sure he box tonight and wait for opportunities. Look out for mistakes. Don't go in there and try to gamble. Win it. Win it on points if you can. Make Barrera make mistakes. Barrera's got to do something exciting now. Clean this guy out. A guy like Kelly go the distance with you. And when you say make Barrera make mistakes, you mean a defensive mistake, the kind of mistake where he gets hit by a big shot, right? That's right. Drop his hand. Get a rhythm to his right, uh, left hand. If he starts to sway it a little bit, drop it to his waist. Go in for a big shot. Right hand, get a little sloppy. Go in with your straight left. Don't try to create anything if you Kelly. First minute and a half seems to portend a boxing match. As Barrera steps to side and looks for a way to land his jab. Kelly goes down on a counter shot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay, Kelly? Well, Kelly was looking to land a big shot. He got hit by one. And about a state commission doctor who examined Kelly a few days ago told me that he seemed weak. That's okay if you seem weak. Just fight like you're weak by staying away from punches. He got caught wide open making mistakes himself. I think Morales should go down to the body and just do the same thing he did with that shot punch he just laid. Laid on uh, Kelly. Kelly seems a little bit more relaxed now. Maybe he's shaking off the knockdown. Barrera, in no hurry, picking his shots. the first real contact, but Kelly makes it out of the round fine. One round in, Barrera versus Kelly. And when we go to Barrera's corner, where they speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. That's very good. Very good. You need to, yeah, it's, instead of rushing it, yeah, just use your more jab so you can keep him at a distance. You gotta put a real jab on him, and every time he steps to you, let your hands go. That's the start of it. Do you understand that? Two twos. Okay. See the exchange there with Kelly, who's looking to land something through a left hand and put a quick right, followed by a left. Someone ba off balance there, trying to get back yeah. out of the way. Yeah. He wasn't dazed, not hurt seriously, but the quickness of Barrera's hands stunned him. Copy box numbers in round one. Kelly five out of 28. Barrera 19 out of 45, including 14 out of 25 power shots. Obviously the key punch was the little left hook that put Kelly down for the knockdown. 
Herrera's corner told him to jab and take your time. If you're not going to get creative and go after a guy like Kelly, when are you going after someone? Well, maybe they just feel like it's going to be easy enough that he need not take any chance whatsoever. Yeah, you, know, you can remember we talked whether he should just come out and brawl and try to overwhelm Kelly, but just by boxing him, he accomplished the same thing. Don't be calling any guy great if he's reluctant. Just forget that. Save that for someone who will gamble with it. I think that Barrera has proven his willingness to fight, exchange, brawl over a long 14, 15 year career. One, for one fight is not the difference. Kelly trying to mix it up. And Barrera knocking him back with a left hook. should be jabbing Kelly in his chest to make sure if he's got a little spunk, get it out of him early. If you're not going to try to finish it, make him weak. Herrera still content to box. Digging a body punch to Kelly. Kelly turns around, back into his southpaw stance. He had momentarily been in a conventional stance. I think Kelly would easily be out of this fight if Barrera just put together a combination. One, two, three, and that's the end of it. <laughs> Kelly can't seem to take those jabs by Barrera, I can tell you that. Didn't like the right hand much either. Those jabs just seem to swell his eyes up, make him dizzy, and almost wait to be dropped by right hand. Kevin grabbing and holding as Marco tried to bring a left hook behind the right cross. Kelly trying to get to the body with both the right and the left hand. Barrera partially blocked the left hand body shot with his elbow. Wished on him, Kelly did. Sit down. Sit down. So yeah. Listen to me. Get your arms down. Listen to me. You don't talk, you listen. Okay. Number one, you're still a little too far away. When you're touching him, you're looking to kill him. I don't want that. I don't want that, Kev. Lighter. Rhythm. Relax and have what? Fun. You ain't having fun right now boxing like that. Relax your body. Relax your mind and do what you do, Kev. Two yeah. Take advantage. Take advantage of it being close. The body. Hit him with the body. It's a lot of jabs. What you need to do. Okay. Round three. Scheduled 12 between Marco Antonio Barrera and Kevin Kelly. Barrera knocked Kelly down in the first round. Now Kevin tries to step up the level of aggression after having been outboxed, it seemed, in the second round as well. Barrera keeps his hands up, doesn't drop them too low, stays focused. Hard to get an opening in there. If you're Kelly, you wonder when is he going to give me something? When you're in the ring with a boxer, you want a puncher to be, a slugger to be open all the time so you can outbox him. This guy punches and he keeps his defense up, Barrera does. A double left hook. Back Kelly up. Back Kelly up, one to the body, one to the head. Kelly leaning over to hear one more instruction from his trainer, Phil Borgia, from the corner. Incidentally, Phil Borgia's mother recovering from a recent ailment in Brevard, North Carolina. He sends his best wishes to her. Hi, Mom.
Midway through the third, Kevin Great Kelly has button. landed one left Everybody hand in this round, but he was a little off balance when he threw it. It was not his biggest shot. Kendler's a bit winded now. And his right eye is beginning to swell already as Barrera focuses the jab on Kevin Kelly's right eye. He's got Kelly playing the counter puncher now. Boy, those are two stiff jabs. And a left hand over the top by Kelly. Barrera is allow, allowing Keller to get his nerves up. Keller's thinking, I thought I'd be out of here by now. I, maybe I can't fight this guy. That's what you don't want from Kelly if you're Barrera. Keep him a little, a little scared. And this is, you see it, George, the product of Barrera's excessive caution. Too much caution. I don't like a guy who's got that kind of power. True Drops greatness guy. requires more risk taking. You gotta take a risk and drop this guy. If you get tired, well, ooh, that left hook to the body by Barrera. That hurt Kelly. That's Barrera's best punch. That Always hurt. has been. That hurt. Kelly's trying to stay away. Still suffering the after effects of that brutal yeah, that's when hook you, to the body. That's when you try to take a breath and hope nothing happens for a moment. Now Barrera trying to smash Kelly with his dramatically improved straight right hand. It was at best a minor weapon in the first half of his career. It's become a major weapon in recent fights. But Kevin Kelly dancing, perhaps to show his confidence and comfort as round three ends. Everything I should know. Stop loading. Listen, you need to throw that up. First of all, I need a straight left hand. He's getting off with his right hand before you. Yeah. You understand me? Sorry. That's Hold on, on his neck. Gotcha. Pay attention and get right hand. I'm losing it now. That's number one. Number two. Faint him a lot. Faint him. And the jab. Soften him over the jab so you'll be ready right for it. In, in close, you hit him real good. Yeah, get in closer. Here's, you're going to see a world class double hook. Good shot to the body. Hook, partially an uppercut to the head. Fortunately for Kelly, he had good balance. Otherwise, he could have suffered a knockdown. Copy box numbers in round three. Barrera, 13 out of 26 jabs. Kelly, one out of 16. Not able to land his jab. Harold, how do you have it through three? Attention, 30 to 26. Three rounds to nothing. Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I gotta tell you something. Tonight you're seeing the, the complete Marco Antonio Barrera package. He's spitting the water every three seconds. You know, he fills up his mouth with water. The, le the half left hook, left uppercut he's landing. Beautiful snapping left jabs. And, and, and every so often mixes in a straight right hand. Three to nothing, Marco Antonio Barrera. Took a left hand shot from Kelly. Delivered two body punches in a row. Knocks him down with a right hand. It was really the body combination that put him down. Six, has not recovered seven, from that body earlier body eight, shot. Okay. On, okay. Kevin is just walking now, called the walking, the sleeping, walking and sleeping. It's been the body attack in this round, and now Barrera has two minutes to finish Kelly off, if in fact he wants to do so. The body shots are really hurting Kevin. He can't take it to the body. Too much time out of the ring. Five, six, seven, eight. You all right? You got to show me something. Come on. All right, you got to show me something. Let's go. Harry! Kelly walks the wrong way as Barrera stalks. Kelly is through. ready again. Kelly this is will be through. a stoppage here because Kevin Kelly couldn't defend himself against the onslaught of Marco Antonio Barrera. Despite all the talking, he had nothing, zero to offer. So it's an easy fourth round knockout for Barrera. And those who speculated before the fight that Kevin Kelly was not really prepared by his last couple of years of boxing experience for a show like this one, see their predictions borne out. Barrera landed 16 of 22 power shots 
in closing things out in that round. And uh, George, it seemed as if he decided after the first few rounds, well, I think it's open to the body. I'll go ahead and do the business there. I'll be honest with you, Jim, I think I could have tickled Kelly on his chin and got the same results. In other words, it was a sparring session at best. At, uh, at best. Ferrari is good and all of that, but Kelly, where in the world is he? Well, you know, to Kevin's great credit, he gets a paycheck that he might not have expected to get at this stage of his career, and he gets it probably because he's been such an appealing personality throughout his long but career. But you know something? We make a lot of complaints about the mix, mismatches with the various boxing bodies, and you know what? We're doing the same thing ourselves. You're saying that HBO participated in the making of this particular fight and shouldn't have? No, I'm not saying that. It's just that we, this guy's called by Larry to, the, the champion, the featherweight champion, true champion. What is he doing fighting Kelly? If that's what the WBA and the IBFs and all that do, you know, if we build again the things we destroy, we make ourselves the the bad boys. George, would you say thing about say the same thing about uh, Oscar De La Hoya fighting Yuri Boy Campus on May three? A lot of people think well, that's at least as bad a mismatch. I'm not saying anything about Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at uh, the replays of the knockout. And here's knockdown number one, product of body shots. Boom, boom. He was hurting from those body shots, and then the little right hand put him down. Now here's the same knockdown. Talk about the body combination, George. Yeah, this guy, he got hurt early on in the body, but let me say, you, he got in his ring hurt from not even being punched. And I'm going to be honest with you. Kelly is game, but Barrera, this was an overmatch. So you're saying he looked Mismatch. compromised from the moment he took off his robe. Yeah, he just got knocked down from not much of a shot, laid down. He wanted to get up like any game fighter, but let me tell you, he shouldn't have been in there with this guy. Well, when you have to struggle fiercely to make 126 pounds, when it's really not in you to make 126 pounds and you dry out and start yourself to do it, you've really given up your chance to win the fight, right? Yeah, but most fighters, we have to deny ourselves. Even I, as a heavyweight, have to struggle for a certain weight. We all deny and struggle for a certain weight. That's no excuse. Struggling is boxing. Easy win for Barrera. Let's hear the official particulars from Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, referee Robert Bird steps in and calls a halt to this bout. The official time, 1 minute 32 seconds of round number four. The winner by TKO victory. And still, the true featherweight champion of the world. The baby face assassin, Marco Antonio Barrera. And let's take a look at CompuBox numbers in the mismatch. <laughs> Thank you, George. Uh, Barrera landing 85 out of 182. Kelly 16 out of 97. If he was a sparring partner, Maybe they'd have fired him. Uh, <laughs> and the percentages, as you see there. Jabs. I love your integrity, Jim. Thank you so uh, much, thank George. You. Thanks. I'm happy to be with you. <laughs> and Barrera landing 28 out of 82 jabs to 6 of 54 for Kelly. If he, if he hadn't knocked him out with body shots, he would have closed his eyes with the jab. Shall we look at power shots? Uh, we know what happened with power shots. Let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, uh, Marco Antonio. Could you sense in the first round that he was not strong, that he couldn't really resist you? Podías tú sentir que él está en el primer round que él no era muy fuerte, que no se podía resistir. No, no lo sentimos muy bien. De hecho, cuando lo tiré, por eso fue que no me me tiré a noquearlo porque sabía que él iba a aguantar más por la condición que traía. Yeah. No, not really. In, in the first round, when I knocked him down, I didn't want to take any chances because I knew he was in good, good condition, and so was I. Were the body shots that weakened him and finished him really? Los golpes al, a la barriga, al cuerpo, fue lo que lo de, debilitaron y lo terminaron. Yo creo que sí, porque le, le pegué arriba y aguantó todo. Por eso fue que cambiamos al golpeo abajo y fue donde le, le dolió. Yeah, I, 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 I think so. Uh, we uh, hit him on the top, and he withstood it. The body shots weakened him. All right, you've now beaten two golden oldies, Tapia and Kelly. Do you feel you need a really strong contender now to fight to confirm your place as a fighter? 
ya les ha ganado a dos veteranos, a Tape y a Kelly. ¿Sientes tú que ahora necesitas tú un contendiente fuerte, joven, para saber que tú eres el mejor? Pues yo creo que ese, esa respuesta la tendría que contestar a HBO, que es la que me pone a los rivales. Y de, en ellos está el, el rival que sigue. Yeah. That question will have to be answered by HBO, who uh, gets my opponents. They have to select uh, who my next opponent is going to be. All right. Do you want the third fight with Morales, and do you want it this year, or do you feel it won't, won't happen until next year? ¿Quieres tú la tercera pelea con Morales? Si la quieres, sería este año o no va a ser? Nosotros encantados de volverle a pelear. Es más, si yo peleo con Eric Morales, se la voy a dedicar a usted. Yeah. We'd love to fight Eric Morales, and if I do fight him, I'm going to dedicate the fight to you. Well, I thank you. That's the nicest thing any fighter has ever said to me. Thank you, Marco Antonio. All right, Jim.